getting funky with it. Come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> 1975. Released this album entitled Standing on the Verge of Getting It On. Okay. The last cut on the B side of that album was a tune called Good Thoughts, Bad Thoughts. And I remember 1975, 1975 was the year after I got out of college, and, and I was searching because Howard University did not teach me what I needed right. as, as, a, as, a, as a human being or as an African male. So I was searching, and I remember listening to this album. And as I listened to this, thought, this song, Good Thousand it's an interesting song because it has a, a very slow, uh, Jimi Hendrix-like guitar yeah. solo in the background. And George Clinton is talking in a very low, slow voice. And it's like, you know, I realize now that, you know, when, when you're a public speaker and it's noisy in the room and you want to get people's attention, you speak softly. And people settle themselves so they can hear. So these were the techniques that George was using in this song in 1975. And, and I listened to the words of this song, the lyrics to the song. I said, this is some deep stuff. Got pen and paper and wrote the lyrics down. And made a copy of it and pasted it up on my wall and recited these lyrics because I found strength, I found power in these lyrics. So what I want to do is to share with you these lyrics. What I discovered um, three years later was that, was that the lyrics to this song, Good Thoughts and Bad Thoughts, were taken from James Allen's book, As a Man Thinking. Wow. Okay. And so from a from a funkadelic standpoint, these are cliff notes for your emotional guidance system. So I'm gonna play a, a clip of good thoughts, bad thoughts, and then I'm gonna give you an analysis of this song. Okay.
Thank you so much. 